Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for January the 12th, Thursday, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. This recording is coming to you from my office there. Today, we are reading from uh, John MacArthur's excellent devotional, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's devotional is entitled, The High Cost of Free Grace. In Christ, we have redemption through his blood, Ephesians 1, verse 7. Redeeming grace is free to us, but, it cost, but its cost to God is inestimable. Pastor MacArthur writes, Sin is not a serious issue to most people. Our culture flaunts and peddles it in countless forms. Even Christians who would never think of committing certain sins would often allow themselves to be entertained by those same sins through television, movies, music, and other media. We sometimes flirt with sin, but God hates it. The price he paid to redeem us from it speaks of the seriousness with which he views it. After all, we were not redeemed with perishable things like silver or gold, but with precious blood as of a lamb unblemished and spotless, the blood of Christ. You can read that in 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 18 and 19. In scripture, the shedding of blood refers to violent physical death, whether of a sacrificial animal or of Christ himself. Sin is so serious that without bloodshed, there is no forgiveness of sin in God's sight, as it says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22. The sacrificial animals in the Old Testament pictured Christ's sacrifice on the cross. That's why John the Baptist calls Jesus the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. That's recorded in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 29. The Old Testament sacrifices were necessary but incomplete. Christ's sacrifice was perfect, complete, and once for all, as it declares in Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 10. No further sacrifices are needed other than the sacrifice of praise to God for what he has done, as it mentions in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 15, and our very lives in service to him as a living and holy sacrifice, which we read about in Romans chapter 12, verse 1. By his sacrifice, Christ demonstrated not only God's hatred for sin, but also his great love for sinners. You could never redeem yourself, but Christ willingly paid the price with his own precious blood. He gave himself, he gave himself up for you, an offering and a sacrifice to God as a fragrant aroma. This is what it says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 2. His sacrifice was acceptable to the Father, so your redemption was paid in full. In, in the description below this video, the following is listed for your reflection and follow-up. First of all, pa uh, Pastor MacArthur suggests that we worship God for his wonderful plan of salvation. It is indeed the highest thing that we can um, worship him for. Worship Christ for the enormous sacrifice he made on your behalf. Christ, fully human, fully God, went through all of that agony and pain for us all. Worship the Holy Spirit for applying Christ's sacrifice to your life and for drawing you to Christ in saving faith. Without the Holy Spirit, we wouldn't have the ability to understand, let alone receive the gift. Ask God to help you guard your heart from flirting with sin. And that's a day-to-day -day prayer, dear friends. Pastor MacArthur also suggests that for further study, study, you read 2 Samuel chapter 11. And ask yourself 
the following questions as you read it. What circumstances led, David's, led to David's sin with Bathsheba? How did David attempt to cover his sin? How did David finally deal with his sin? Uh, you can also see it and see his reaction, David's reaction in Psalm 51. Dear friends, thank you for taking a few moments out of your day to listen to a devotional reflection. I pray you will take a few moments more to do some of the follow-up study and reflection suggested by Pastor MacArthur. And until we can be together tomorrow for tomorrow's devotional uh, reflection, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.